With those cackles covering Queen Bess Island, just north of Grand Isle, you could call brown pelicans Louisiana's laughing fishers. But the state's push to make room for these birds alongside an eroding coast remain no laughing matter at all. As we continue to lose our wetlands, um, you know, we're losing those nesting grounds as well. Biologist Todd Baker says subsidence and erosion have left only five acres of nesting grounds left on Queen Bess. Now he's leading the drive to keep the birds here. Those birds require a lot less to exist on than our coastal communities. So if we can't put back what those birds need, then what's it say for what we can do for ourselves? State officials are using settlement funds from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill to restore pelican rookeries not just along Queen Bess Island, but also on Rabbit Island in southwest Louisiana. Trying to build an island that's high enough in elevation that um, you know these birds' nests won't go underwater, yet low enough that it's not highly attractive to predators. The shrinking coast hardly marks the first threat for these birds here. Back in the early 1960s, Louisiana lost all of its brown pelicans because a pesticide used to kill mosquitoes made their eggshells too thin for baby birds to incubate. DDT was also widely used in agriculture. It got into the environment and it had serious problems in the environment for many species. After state wildlife officials shipped birds from Florida in 1968, Louisiana's pelican population gradually rebounded. A sign, Baker says, that with a little help, the pelican too can prevail again. Harrison Golden, Local 33 News.